The Chevy Colorado is unquestionably one of the top mid-sized truck models available in the US market. It just works well in so many ways that it is a vehicle that any prospective buyer should consider, but there are some drawbacks that turn off a lot of buyers. If you're interested in finding out more about these drawbacks, stick with us as we go over the 9 startling reasons why the Chevy Colorado isn't selling. Number 9. Stop Sale Alarms Potential Customers The 2024 Chevrolet Colorado sales have been sluggish due to several external and internal factors. A six-week United Auto Workers strike in 2023 delayed production, limiting inventory availability. Additionally, in February 2024, Chevrolet issued a stop-sale order due to a software quality issue affecting nearly 15,000 units, though it was resolved swiftly. These setbacks compounded previous customer complaints about battery drainage following software updates in 2023, further affecting sales momentum. The launch of the refreshed model has been controversial, contributing to slower sales for both the Chevrolet Colorado and its counterpart, the GMC Canyon. Number 8. No Multi-Link Suspension First, let's address one of the Chevy Colorado's main drawbacks – the absence of a contemporary suspension system. For those who don't know, the Chevy Colorado is a heavy-duty mid-size pickup truck with a ladder chassis that allows for serious heavy lifting. This ladder frame has an antiquated leaf spring suspension system at the back. Even though leaf spring suspension is great for hauling and loading, it makes driving excessively floaty overall, especially when traveling at high speeds. This configuration is excessive for a mid-size pickup truck because these vehicles aren't usually as heavily laden as full-size trucks. Rivals like Toyota have started to provide a multi-link arrangement in the back as an optional feature. The driving experience with a multi-link suspension is superior to that of a standard leaf spring arrangement. Acknowledging the popularity of this strategy, Toyota made a smart choice. It is our sincere hope that Chevy will follow suit and equip the Colorado with a multi-link suspension. Without a doubt, this modification would greatly increase the Colorado's appeal, particularly to those looking for the greatest driving experience. Number 7. No Diesel Engine the in Chevy Colorado's lack of a diesel engine is another drawback as it is a deal breaker for many purchasers. Turbocharged gas engines are gradually taking the place of diesel engines in automobiles and the Chevy Colorado is no different. The 2.8-liter Duramax diesel was a choice for customers in the previous generation, however it is no longer offered. Currently, the Chevy Silverado is the sole vehicle available with a diesel engine. The diesel engine is an optional feature and costs a lot more than the gas-powered alternatives. This is confusing because diesel engines are perfect for hauling huge weights because they have good low-end torque. They also provide better fuel efficiency than gas-powered motors. We're hoping that Chevy will buck the current trend and bring back a diesel engine for the Colorado. With the adoption of technology like EGR and DPF to reduce pollution, contemporary diesel engines are anticipated to increase sales for Chevy while also helping the environment. Number 6. Lack of configurations The Chevy Colorado's restricted range of cab and bed combinations is another drawback. To save production costs, manufacturers have started lowering the number of variants that are available recently. Customers used to have a variety of bed options in addition to normal, extended, and crew cab options. These days, though, the options are frequently reduced to just one. As with the GMC Canyon, Honda Ridgeline, Jeep Gladiator, and Ford Ranger, the Chevy Colorado is currently only offered with a crew cab and a five-foot bed. There are still very few trucks that come with an expanded cab and a longer six-foot bed, such as the Nissan Frontier and Toyota Tacoma. Some consumers decide on the Tacoma over the Chevy Colorado due to the restricted options available. We're hoping Chevy will bring back the extended cab and provide a six-foot longer bed. Contractors who want a workable truck would tremendously profit from this move, which would enable them to grow their company without going over budget for a full-size pickup truck. More configuration options would increase the Colorado's appeal to a larger spectrum of consumers. Number 5. Base engine is a little rough. The engine of the most recent Chevy Colorado generation is another problem. It's a little bit rough around the edges. Following the trend of downsizing to achieve better emissions and more efficiency, GM chose to forego the dependable V6 in favor of a smaller engine for this generation. Consequently, GM unveiled the L3B, a new 2.7-liter inline-four turbo engine. 
This engine is incredibly robust and able to manage large loads because it was built using many of the same concepts as diesel engines. The roughness of the engine is a drawback though. It can be annoying because this little engine vibrates a lot, especially while it's at idle, because of how much power it produces. According to reports, this engine's high output variant is comparatively smoother, but only the low output version causes severe vibrations. It can also be difficult to utilize this engine on chilly mornings. You may struggle until the engine heats up if your aim is to hop in and go. It is best to start the engine and give it a minute or two to warm up before taking to the road, particularly on chilly, icy winter mornings. Number 4. No hybrid or electric version the absence of hybrid and electric drivetrain options for the Chevy Colorado is another drawback that has led to its lower-than-expected sales figures. Data indicates that many U.S. consumers, especially in areas like California, are interested in these models, notwithstanding the opinions of some who may not agree. People from California are renowned for being progressive and open to policies that enhance their quality of life, including green car technology. As a result, more producers are providing electric and hybrid vehicles. For example, Toyota sells the Tacoma iForce Max, a mild hybrid vehicle, while Ford is rumored to be working on a plug-in hybrid Ranger for the 2025 model year. It's past time for Chevy to provide a hybrid version of the Chevy Colorado. Number 3. Poor Comfort Inside the Cabin The uncomfortable interior of the Chevy Colorado is yet another drawback. The fact that this model isn't among the roomiest is a problem shared by the whole midsize lineup. Taller people may find it difficult to have enough legroom in the Chevy Colorado because there aren't many cars in this class that provide comfortable rear seats for passengers. Regretfully, there is no simple solution to this issue. The full-size Chevy Silverado, which provides plenty of legroom for rear seat passengers and generally fewer compromises than the midsize Colorado, is a good option if you require more interior space. Number 2. Interior feels extremely cheap The inexpensive interior of the Chevy Colorado, which is especially apparent on lower trim levels, is the main cause of the vehicle's poor sales performance. Extremely basic materials are used throughout, particularly in the work truck model, which has an abundance of low-quality plastics. The fact that the steering wheel is even composed of an inexpensive plastic composition turns off a lot of purchasers. Customers expect trucks in the current market to have respectable materials and features, even in the most basic trim levels. Number 1. Average Fuel Economy These days, fuel economy is a hot topic, particularly with the ongoing rise in gas prices. Customers are looking for a pickup that gets good mileage, yet the Chevy Colorado only manages mediocre MPG. The Colorado's combined fuel economy for the low output and high output versions is 22 and 20 miles per gallon, respectively. Only with summer tires are these numbers reasonable. All terrain tires drastically decrease fuel efficiency. For example, the ZR2 Bison model with all terrain tires achieves a maximum mileage of 16 miles per gallon. Chevy needs to release a plug in hybrid or mild hybrid variant in order to raise these statistics. We may anticipate the Colorado achieving at least 26 miles per gallon combined with this configuration. Furthermore, a plug-in hybrid might have a minimum 30-mile electric-only range. By putting these adjustments into practice, the Colorado's fuel efficiency would increase dramatically, making it an exceptional option for mid-sized trucks.